Lady Charlotte here and I'm on my way back to Concord, North Carolina. No, I'm not doing Uber and I know y'all are wondering what that noise is. See, when you got a, um, a little four-cylinder vehicle, it has a little road noise with it. Well, the Nissan Versa does anyway. It has a road noise with it. But, um, that's enough. I had to take him to go get, to go get him another car from his parents temporarily. So we're in some some part of South Carolina. I don't know. Somewhere. I'm looking at a sign that says Great Falls, Chester, one mile, Highway 97. Uh, X 55. But um, I want to tell you guys about a conversation he and I just had. Well, he didn't really know about it because he's never experienced this type of thing. So I'm going to try to yell a little bit so you he can help hear me. Um, I was talking to him about liquor houses and see back in the day remember now I'm almost 50 I'll be 50 next year so I was talking to him about when I used to hang out at liquor houses and I'm like you know back in the day you know you hang out at the liquor house you hope for an older man to come in there on a Friday so you're just kind of sitting around you're looking all cute and everything and you're waiting for an old dude to come in we call you know old dude come in because most likely he's more established than what you and your friends are he a little more established. He got he got a job or you know pay pretty good or he's retired from somewhere. Uh, so he got a little check come in or maybe on the first, second, and third of the month, maybe fifteenth, something like that. Or maybe you know on, even on the thirtieth, depending on how the weekend fall. He got a wallet full of money, and and the older man he would come up in the liquor house because he wants to showboat. He wants everybody to see him. He wants all the ladies to be all around him. He wants to make all the other dudes mad young and old alike. Now let me tell you about the liquor house though. Not just anybody could get in. Now you got to know somebody that know somebody that know something about it. You just can't get into the liquor house. Alright. So once you are privileged to get in you better not show out. Because if you show out you can't never come back to the liquor house no more. And ain't nobody going to mess with you. Alright. And sometimes the liquor house will have little drawings and things. We win a little free, free beer. Free two beers or might win your little cash pot, you know, it might be a little tunk game going on. They had all kind of things going in this little tiny apartment. Normally it was a two bedroom apartment, a little brick apartment. But when you were in there, it was like the best fun ever. I mean there was a what they used to call the piccolo. The piccolo was a jukebox. Alright. Go in there, you play your song, put your put your nickel in there, your dime or your quarter and get in there and play your songs and they used to have records that would kind of come out and flap down and the piccolo and the jukebox would play your records and everybody started dancing. Now if you played something that nobody liked they'd be like boo boo cut that shit off you know whatever whatever all right and then anytime you want to make your way to the piccolo somebody would just say it don't let them pick no song they don't know how to pick no music get them away from the piccolo all right so Let's talk about the food at the piccolo. I mean, at the uh, at the liquor house. Now you're drinking liquor, you're drinking beer. So of course you gotta have have beer and liquor food. You got to have salty things. So that make you more thirsty. And that's how the house man gonna make his money. So you got salted peanuts. You know, you might have some chips. You know, he's selling chips for five dollars. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm sorry for like you know fifty cent a bag or quarter a bag. Get you some chips, and then you got um. Uh, pig feet, you got to have you some pickled pig feet in the jar, you know now you, you, you will have it in liquor spot if you got the um, the pickled eggs in there too you got pickled eggs, you got sauce, hot sausage, hot pickled sausages, so you a real good liquor house if you got them pig feet, your pickled eggs your hot pickled sausages, some liquor houses have pickled pig ears see you're high class when you eat pickled pig ears, alright and then they had a uh, they had fried fish. It was always whiting or croaker. Whiting or croaker. Some look at how to serve, you know, a little bit of catfish, but, you know, mainly whiting and croaker. And then you had, of course, you had a plate. You know, your plate would consist of a piece of fish. You get you some, uh, some beans, some pork and beans. I call them pork and beans. You get some pork and beans. And then some places would give you some grits. You can get fish and grits and a slice of bread. And you got to have hot sauce. You gotta have hot sauce, you gotta have vinegar. Alright, so now you got them things. And don't forget your chicken drumettes. You got your little drummies. You got them. 
and they fried. Look at how style. Number salt and pepper with the right amount of salt, the right amount of pepper. I'm talking. You can slap your mom. It's just ain't nothing. Ain't no extra. Ain't no accent on it. Ain't no paprika, smoked paprika. Ain't no garlic powder like I put on mine. Ain't no Asian fire spice like I use. No, it's straight up salt and pepper. Look at how style. All right. Then you got your cans of beer. And you got your, you know, your, maybe about your four different bottles of uh, liquor. And it, it didn't matter what kind of liquor it was. It was either white, brown, or you got you some uh, some mash or some moonshine. You know, see that mash, that moonshine come out the mountains. You know, you don't tell them where you got it from. You don't tell them where you got that from. They just, you just have it. Don't you worry about where I got it from. And they call it blue flame. If it, if it, if it burn a blue flame when they set it on fire, that's the good pure stuff. Now, you can't just go around drinking anybody's moonshine that shit be done killed you. You just can't drink everybody's shine. It's got to be blue flame and it won't give you no headache in the morning. And you don't, you don't get a headache with moonshine. Good moonshine, you don't get a headache. All right, so anyway. So now we got the liquor house and we got the piccolo. And you got the card table set up. And you might have a love seat set up. And maybe another couch where people can just sit down. Sometimes they'll build a bar because you got to have a little wooden bar to set up all your your, your, your uh, appetizers, you know, your pig feet, your pig ears, your sausage, all that stuff that's going to clog your arteries, all right? Then on top of that, people smoking in there. So me being an asthmatic, it didn't matter the time. It didn't matter the time. I'm just trying to get in there. All right, so now, you got that going on. And the music is good. Everything is happy. Everybody happy. Ain't nobody cutting the fool in there. Cause that's where you could go. Cause the house man carried a gun, so you ain't gonna go in there and act no fool. Or he carried a wooden bat. That's right. He gonna regulate. Got to regulate your liquor house. And the police didn't bother you, cause it was just a bunch of people just having a good time. It wasn't nothing. You didn't have to worry about no fight. Every once in a while, a good cussing that would break out. A good strong verbal lashing would break out. And you might have two chicks trying to get with the same old man, cause you don't bought her some boiled pickled boiled eggs and, and but you bought her a plate of chicken or a chicken plate and then you think you'll get some tail from me and all you bought me was some damn boiled eggs but you bought her a whole chicken plate she had beans and bread and everything all right so now imagine there's a lot of noise going on just mainly laughter though it's mainly laughter all right so now you done you done landed the old man or the older man with the fat wallet you know, you be like, girl, it's one of them swole. It's, it's one of them swole. All right, so you done landed. Now you entertaining him. Y'all laughing, you're talking. You find out you know some of the same people. You old young girl, he an older man. And when I say old man, it don't necessarily mean he in his 70s or nothing. I mean, that was that too. But it could be a girl that was like uh, 21, 18. She's sitting in the liquor house. And then a dude come by, he may be 40. To her, you the old man. All right, so she talking to him and they're just talking to him. He say, you know, let me buy you a beer. And then she's like, yeah, I'll take a beer. So he buy a beer. And she good company and all that. After a while, you eating them with chips and chips and, and then all that. And then you're going to get thirsty. So, you know, now you want another beer, but you don't ask for it, right? So you wait on him to offer you the beer. Now, some of them was kind of wild. They be like, you ain't going to buy me another beer? Or what you got on me a beer? You know, them, them professional liquor house women. They done been in the game a long time. They done, in a long, they done been out there a long time. You don't want to go with them to the liquor house. Men like for you to be nice and innocent and let them think that they corrupted you. All right? So anyway. Okay. They made man down. Blue lights. Blue lights. Blue lights. I don't, I don't like the police lights. They just do something to me. They just give me the willies. And I'm in South Carolina too. I heard they don't even tell you where they take you to jail. You just go where they tell you to go. You get you. You can't tell nobody where you at. Then come pay your bail. I don't know how true that is. But I don't know. Oh, I'm in Chester County. So anyway, back to the lookout. So now he'll ask you again. Would you like another beer, or you would you like a shot of liquor? And then you be like, Oh, I take a shot of liquor. All right. And believe me, the house man is measuring it. He got it committed to memory. You getting a shot of liquor. All right. So now. After a while, y'all talking, things are doing good and everything. He gonna get hungry. And then he gonna say, I I'm getting ready to get me a fish plate or a chicken plate. You know, would you like some chicken wings or would you like a fish plate? And then she'll be like, yeah, I'll take a fish plate. Because she gets croaking white now. Croaking white can cost a whole lot more than the uh, chicken wings or the chicken wing plate. So you wanna, if he paying for it, you wanna get the most expensive thing that he offered you. 
So the, the, the croaker and the waiting is like lobster in the liquor house. Okay. I take, you know, yo man, she wanna, uh, you want white, no, you want flounder. I take, I mean, white no croaker. I take croaker. I take croaker. So she give her a croaker plate, and then now she's sitting there, you know, trying to pretty all up and everything and smooth the hair. Now the rest of the women in there dry hair. They looking, they waiting on your ass to go to the bathroom. So they get cozy on over there to the bar. And, <clears throat> how you doing? I saw you over there. I don't want to get in trouble with your girlfriend. Because she's trying to find out, is that your woman? Or is that somebody you just met here? Because you just met her here. It's all fair. I'm going to put my fingers in your files. I'm going to cozy on up on this other bar stool over here. All right. Then he's like, nah, that's just a friend of mine. You know what I'm saying? That's just a friend. I just met her here tonight, you know. And she's like, oh, okay, what's your name? So now she, you got to hurry and pee in that bathroom and get back. Because somebody else going to be sitting at your stool. Especially if he ain't spoke up for you and said, no, somebody's sitting there. Or I'm talking to somebody. All right, so now she come back out. Now they both sitting there. Now she looking over there like, where the hell she come from? You know, now he done bought her a fish plate. And she got a beer. Cause you don't see no other man over there talking to her. So she, she trying to, she trying to get on the same team you on. So now you got to outdo her. Now you sitting there being all cute, trying to eat all cute and everything and let them know I'm a lady. I'm a lady. I eat my fish like this. See, they give you that piece of bread. And now you got the fish laying here. And then you got your bread. You're supposed to take off your piece of bread, put it on your fish, and, and scrub or scrape the meat off the bone, and then eat it. Okay, you take your piece of bread, lay it on the fish, scoop it with your fingers, scoop it off, and then eat it. Okay, that's how you do it. You don't want to pick it up and be a, uh, like you all living in a cave and stuff. You don't want to do that. Piece of bread, lay it on the fish, slide the meat off the bone, eat it. All right, <laughs> so now, you're doing that because you're looking like a lady. Because old girl over here, she may be just going in. You know what I'm saying? She just, ah, she's in. You don't want to do like that. Act like you ain't never been nowhere. All right, so now, you sip your beer. You eat some, some fish with some bread. And then you got your hot sauce. All right, your mouth get too hot. You drink a little bit more beer. Okay, that's how you do it. But now your beer getting low. And your liquor done gone. Your liquor gone. Okay. You mess around. You know, you, you get take that bread and you get down to a, a piece of meat on that fish and you try to slide it off. So like you can get down there by the tail where the bones get thinner. Get down there by the tail, slide that meat off. Well, you don't turn the fish over and do it the same thing to the other side. That's how you're going to end up with a full skeleton laying on your plate, okay? Now they know you, you get that piece of fish in your throat with that little bit of bread because you're running out of bread. So now you got a little piece of bread. You're running out, you can only give you one slice. Not the loaf, it's a loaf of bread. They give you one slice to make a sandwich with. They only give you one. They don't give you two. They give you one. Some people give you two, but you get one. Now you got a little bit. You got like the crust on the edge and you're trying to work the crust. All right, now, you get that fish, you slide it off, put that in your mouth. Now you don't swallow your bread and you don't swallow your fish, but now you done mess around and got a bone caught in your throat and it's laying long ways in your windpipe. You tell me, cut, 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 cut. <coughs> He tell me what's wrong? You got a bone in your throat. And then the thing about liquor houses, they say it loud. You got a bone in your throat. Hey, yo, yo, man, she got a bone in her throat. Give her a piece of bread. Give it. Everybody hand you bread. Eat that bread. This bread to get it down. Eat that bread. So now you got to take the bread and you want to ball it up a little bit in a ball. And you want to kind of put that in my chew it and then swallow it. Because what you're trying to do is get that, that heavy weight of that bread and knock that bone loose and crossways in your throat. So that didn't get you still the bone in there. You just ah, ah, ah. Now old girl looking over there at you. Like, oh, she messed up. She's finna go home. She done got messed up in the game. He finna be mine, all mine, rest of the night. Because the liquor house open till like 2 or 3 in the morning. It's open later than the club, how it used to be. It's open later than the club. You drink all night at the liquor house until the house man shut it down. Now you choking. Now you finally get the um the bone out your throat because you done ate a damn half a loaf of bread trying to get this bone to knock loose in your throat because it's going into your stomach. Now your throat hurting and, and it's aching and you done picked your little meat in your throat. Then it's like, get up, go ahead and get another shot. Get, you want another shot? Look, go and give another shot of crown. I'm paying for it. Get a shot of crown. She had that bone caught in the throat. That, that liquor going to numb her throat. And it will. It will. It will numb your throat, honey. And that's going to help you make it through the night. Or if it was a big bone, you might well pack up your purse and go on, take it to the house and go on home. Just go on, walk down the street, go home. 
So anyway, I just thought I'd take y'all down memory lane of the liquor house. Good times. Good times. Alright, I'm gonna go continue my drive and try to drive safe. Alright, I'll talk to you guys later. Alright, bye.